Hey everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. I'm Anish and today I am back with a revision strategy for all of you guys. So gate examination is almost around the corner. We have around three months, a little bit more than three months left until the gate 2025 examination. So many students were asking, many students were having queries. How should they go about in this last three months of preparation and how should they revise? Because I know the main pain for students is revision because everybody studies the new subject with full interest in the first second month then after the after two three months right they tend to forget the subject as they don't revise it and they don't like to revise i was in the same situation so i know the feeling okay i also don't like to revise but how i did my revision and also the important fact is i also wasn't able to fully complete my syllabus so uh, on around october or uh, around uh, September right I made a plan that I don't have to complete all of the syllabus I will complete the important parts of the syllabus and I will do revision and test series effectively okay I will not uh, like run for completion of the syllabus I will run for whatever I know I will study that effectively so that strategy I will tell you what did I follow okay because that got me a rank of 170 of course if I would have completed all the subjects I could have gotten a better rank but I, before October right I think I wasn't able to complete uh, like 40 percent of the syllabus was left for me and still I got the good rank and still I was able to complete at around 80 to 90 percent 90 percent of the syllabus how did I do that so I will obviously talk about this so before doing this right I, I want to give a quick disclaimer that it worked for me it may not work for you just pick the methods or the uh, points which are suitable for you which you can able to follow okay which you feel uh, is good for you you can skip the other points so that's a quick disclaimer you can make your own strategy because everything is dependent on you okay uh, like because what are your habits how do you prepare how do you study subjects all of it depends on you then only you can follow this guidelines right so yeah i will tell you the few tips the first tip is complete the common subjects so your first target should be at least complete the common sub uh, subjects so in this video i think himanshu has posted a video like 100 days uh, gate plan if you are starting from scratch or if you are lagging behind so you have to complete the common subjects and obviously the common high weightage subjects what do i mean by high weightage subjects now uh, one thing you know for electrical right uh, digital electronics is a common subject but it doesn't have any like it, it doesn't come in too high of a marks like not 10 marks it comes around uh, three to four marks obviously it can come more but in general it doesn't come too high of a marks right uh, too much of digital electronics doesn't come so you can delay that you can delay studying that and prioritize prioritize the subjects which are more weightage like the core subjects machine power electronics power system then few uh, subjects like measurement although it has syllabus its syllabus is lower but its weightage is high, higher like emft although its syllabus is lower but its weightage is higher like uh, i'm talking about syllabus to weightage ratio obviously you can uh, like use like i am just giving you examples you can take subjects from your own branch and use that what you know right you have to obviously go and look for the weightages of each subjects how does each subject perform according to marks every year uh, i have made a video all the most important core e topics that you can watch or you can search for any other video in the youtube okay for other uh, branches so this is the first tip that i can give first complete the common subjects because that will not only help you in studying the core subjects but also will help you in securing the highest ma marks because common subjects are generally tend to be the easier side and they are generally tend like you can score good marks in that okay so that is the point one uh, what do you mean by common subjects in uh, electrical branch right common subjects are uh, like uh, which are common for double e ec and iron okay these uh, this is what i mean by common subjects now divide your study time into slots uh, what do i mean by this so you can divide your study time into three slots it dip, like you can change this obviously uh, i used to do it one was subject completion revision and practice slash test series so why do i divide it because if you don't divide it you will just do one thing only just take for example subject completion so let's say you are studying currently machines and you are very interested in machines and if you just keep on doing that keep on studying the machines that's okay that's fine uh, for one two days that's fine but every day if you just keep on studying machines right and you are not revising the previous subjects that you learned and you are not keep practicing and giving the test series then your rank will not come good okay because you have to divide your time in all those these three because all the three are actually equally important 
completing the syllabus is important yes but already what you know what you learned revising that is equally important i how will you revise i will say that don't worry and practicing is mo- obviously like equally important right? if you don't practice then you will not get the level of the gate examination then you will not be able to uh, cope up with the pressure okay of the uh, what of what the examination demands so it is important to practice so how i used to do it uh, during the morning time i used to study the subject i used to uh, complete like study a new subject then during the afternoon or evening i i revise and then again study subject so you can do it alternatively so during the whole day let's say uh, you watched one lecture one two hour lectures then again you revised another subjects for a certain period of time then again you studied a subject okay then again you revised okay that total depends on on you and you practice at the night i i used to practice daily at the night what did i practice i practiced daily gate pyo iqs at the night and uh, every other day like a uh, Uh, twice a week or thrice a week i used to attempt test series like either subject wise or full length test not full length full length test series i i attempted on december but subject wise test series i started from after october downloads so you can start for subject wise test series now okay weekly at least once or twice at least twice you attempt subject wise test series and you have to practice the gate pyqs daily or your whatever coaching material you have got or dpps at least daily that you have to do daily what what practice the previous subjects which you have completed those you have to practice now i so uh, told you right how do you revise so i also hated revision so it was my own personal experience yours can differ what i did was i used to make short notes of all the subjects right and of each chapters like i used to leave out four five pages of each chapters after completing a particular topic after completing a particular chapter i used to leave out four five pages and there i used to write a short notes now short notes right you cannot instantly write Uh, i mean uh, what do you mean by that after you finish the uh, chapter you cannot instantly write the short notes because once you go on to the questions there you know actually what is being asked and uh, what you are f- uh, forgetting what is a difficult thing that you need to put in short notes B- uh, bit of uh, theory bit of derivation okay those things in your short notes i have also made a video here you can go and watch that about short notes you can go how to make short notes okay so what i d- used to do during the revision right i used to revise in the short notes and with the question practice okay what question practice uh, during ho- all of this whole time right i uh, mentioned in my previous videos as well whole all of this whole time during the previous 4 5 months i was attempting uh, i was uh, practicing gate pyo iqs and there i was marking the difficult question like i was making two star three star okay for the very difficult question three star for moderately difficult question two star and uh, like not that difficult one star or you can unmark you, you don't need to mark that okay so now what i will do i will go back and solve those three star questions three star two star questions so with with that my concept will also get revised and i will also gain confidence that okay i am able to solve it now if i am not able to solve it what i will do i will go back directly into the short notes now i will revise through short notes that concept if i am not able to revise through short notes i will go into the full notes because uh, like it was my person own personal experience yours can differ uh, in my way going back into the into the full notes can uh, like sometimes what happens it becomes difficult to study the whole thing back again okay so that's how i used to revise now it can be different for you as well okay so just you have to revise that particular concept because sometimes what happen you remember something not but not completely the whole thing right so just when you go back to the short notes you just watch the notes and you recall okay okay this was the concept okay i missed this part okay so that's how i used to revise through practice okay so because when we start revision right we exactly don't know what to revise actually what am i tending to forget so whenever you attempt a test series you have to have a small copy of test series where you write down your mistakes where you write down the topics where you weren't able to solve you had studied previously but you weren't able to solve those topics and you knew the concept once you see the solution you knew the concept so those topics you have to write down those things you have to go back and revise okay so that's how this is a feedback loop okay this is a complete feedback loop test series and revision is a feedback loop okay you understand what you need to revise then you revise that again and you come back to test series okay and this is a positive not positive negative feedback loop this tells you okay you are lagging in this part okay this is negative then revision through revision it becomes uh, like it increases your uh, like um knowledge of that particular topic again okay so that is how i used to do now third point is master what you know now we run behind everything okay i want to learn this new concept i want to learn this new uh, topic i want to learn this uh, new trick that's fine but if you are if you are able to deliver what you already know in the gate examination you will you will do wonders in the examination trust me okay if you are able to deliver what you have studied already okay because let's say you have covered 
most of the common subjects if you are able to totally answer all the questions common subject questions correctly that you will at least get 50 marks okay you can go and watch this himanshu video they are here explain like in 100 days what you can do so try to that what is the meaning of this try to revise the previous topics right how to revise i have told you here okay so don't run behind everything okay subject completion is important obviously but now make it slow okay this portion right the time given time allotted to this portion should be lower now initially it, it will be higher because at that point of time you don't have to revise or give the test series now the practice portion is important so you have to give more time to practice and test series that is very very equally important if you don't give it time your rank won't be good trust me next is uh devote any time in a time of practice will this goes hand hand in hand that i already talked about cover important high voltage topics from important subjects so i've already made this uh core e video so what do i mean by this i've already explained this uh like here itself but uh, what i mean by this exactly is even if you are like skipping a subject right even if you're skipping a subject like let's say uh from uh measurement okay i'm skipping the whole measurement uh, like I, i don't have time to study the whole measurement uh, like for i'm talking about electrical engineering now what i will do is i will pick and choose few topics i will pick and choose let's say measuring instruments like from where the questions have been mainly asked in the previous years obviously this is my luck okay if they decide like generally they follow the weightage if they don't follow the weightage then your luck is bad you can't do but you have tried your best so you will uh, try to study the important subjects let's say from measuring instruments i can say cro i can say okay so analog instrument uh, in analog instruments you have those different A mi instruments pmmc instruments from there question gets asked uh, in the previous years let's say in psa in psa the subject is very big so the, the subject can be broken down into two parts psa 1 and psa 2 power system 1 and power system 2 so mainly in power system right the question comes from the second portion that is the fault stability analysis those portion so i will recommend you complete the psa 2 because they are totally unrelated so similar to these power system type of subjects can be in your own branch you can decide like what uh, what subject it is and you can study the portion which is more higher weightage and takes lower amount of time okay so you can study individual topics that is what i followed during my preparation but obviously it hampered i couldn't get a rank under 100 but i also didn't got a very bad rank i got a rank under 170 i got a rank 170 uh, without completing the whole syllabus okay obviously a bit of luck favors but if you don't try right if you don't study like how will luck favor you have to at least try to give luck a chance so that is a uh, thing that i wanted to mention here uh, then use digital notes so our uh, our in our courses right we generally provide digital notes now right you don't have enough time to make your own notes because if you make your own notes make those colorful all those things that will take you huge amount of time what we recommend is uh, in our uh, courses and coachings we what do you do we provide handwritten notes in both black background like which you are seeing and in white white as well okay in white background as well so what you can do you can print out we provide the printable notes you can print out those notes keep you on your side handy and watch the lectures okay so you don't have to write the definitions and those things those things actually tend to waste the time so you can save the time from that and uh, just write scribble on the orderly neatly written handwritten notes whatever you have doubt or you have added one extra point or you have added a trick you know on like you have identified a trick for that particular uh, topic so you can write it on there okay scribble it on there so your own notes are obviously important but this is the best combination our own neatly written handwritten notes and your own scribble on the uh, like that print printable notes okay that is the best way to study right now because if you just study from uh, like own uh, like in your if you make your own notes that will take huge amount of time and we don't have time so we have to devote less amount of time in subject completion so this in this way right you will be able to complete the subjects faster so in our uh, courses all of the courses we provide uh, these type of digital notes only okay so that it can help your students next is this is a very like off topic uh, uh, strategy tips this is he- eat healthy so during the last 3 months right i will recommend you to eat healthy keep your health good if your health is good right then you will be mentally and physically fit and then you will you will see that you will see a positive energy and then you will be able to finish your task faster okay if you if you if you are eating unhealthy things and if you are not in a good space of mind right you won't be able to finish the task uh, faster and it will take you more time and everything will seem dizzy so my recommendation will be during the last few months eat healthy keep yourself totally physically healthy so that you are in a good mindset and you are able to complete all the task in a proper time you will see you will observe the development in your body if you eat healthy and keep yourself fit okay so these are the few tips that i wanted to give you for the revision and uh, and for the final 3 months what you should follow okay now 
uh, obviously you can go visit our website the courses that i was talking about you can go visit our website preffusion.in i will put the link in the comments below you can visit there and you can purchase any courses we have get full course get subject wise course, course get combo course we have placement courses for analog and digital vlsa profiles okay we have test series everything is present just visit the website and if you want to uh, purchase our course you can purchase from there itself if you have any queries you can obviously ask us in the telegram group or here in the whatsapp feature as well you can whatsapp us here as well okay just click this button okay so yeah that's it that's it about this uh, strategy video i hope you are doing well you are learning well and i hope you get a great rank on your gate examination journey and i hope to see you again happy learning